Today is NASA's 62nd birthday. The U.S. Space Administration also has another cause for celebration. America is no longer dependent on Russia to deliver astronauts into orbit. That was the only field of space exploration in which Moscow was able to compete with Washington. The head of Roscosmos earns twice as much as the head of NASA, but Russia is still losing ground. Why? Now we'll explain. Why is Russia losing out in space? After America's space shuttles were sent to the museum, for nine whole years, International Space Station crews were transported exclusively by Russian Soyuz spacecraft. As Deputy Prime Minister Sergei Ivanov warned back in 2007, Russia was at risk of becoming a cosmic cabbie. Moscow may find itself deprived of that status too. Cosmic cabbies. On May the 31st, astronauts were taken to the ISS by the Crew Dragon, manufactured by US businessman Elon Musk's SpaceX company. It also designed the reusable Falcon 9 rocket that launched the Dragon into orbit. If Western crews can be sent into orbit on Musk's rockets, Washington won't keep paying Russia $400 million a year. SpaceX could force Roscosmos out of the space transportation market for astronauts as well as for cargo. It's nothing personal. Launching the Falcon 9 costs $10 million less than the Russian Proton. In the 1990s and 2000s, Russia made 40% of all space launches. Cheap, dependable rockets like Rokot, Zenit, Dnieper, Soyuz and Proton put vehicles into orbit for the whole world. The turning point came in 2015. After Russia annexed Crimea and started the war in Donbass, the rocket, Zenit and Dnieper missiles co-produced with Ukraine vanished from its arsenal. The country plunged into an economic crisis and launches went down by a third. Meanwhile, China became the world leader, doubling its number of launches. Russian technology is becoming obsolescent. Russian rockets and ships feature technical designs dating from the 1970s. Elon Musk's ships, capable of landing with their engines alone, are brand new technology. The Crew Dragon is not the only reusable US ship. The Dream Chaser orbital plane's first mission is scheduled for next year. The Boeing X-37B, capable of spending two years in orbit, is already flying to space, and the manned Starliner capsule is also being prepared for flight. The Russian ship Ariol, set to replace the Soviet Soyuz, has had three name changes so far, but as yet the public has only seen a plastic model. The Angara rocket, supposed to launch the Ariol into orbit, has been under development for 26 years, but has only ever taken one test flight. China has overtaken Russia in the satellite industry. Its satellite constellation has doubled in five years, while Russia's has increased by just a third. Russia currently has 169 satellites, China has 363, and the United States has 1,327, that's half of all world satellites. Russia is lagging behind due to its weak electronics industry. Unlike China and the US, Russia produces no smartphones, sat-navs or cosmic radiation-resistant electronics needed for satellites. Plans to maintain a foothold in space exploration have also failed. To create a heavy-class rocket, a new manned ship, to launch several orbiting space telescopes, and even to set up an automated moon base. In 2013, the Kremlin pledged to achieve those goals by the end of the decade. By 2030, it also planned to build a rocket for interplanetary flights, to bring Martian soil back to Earth, and to prepare to put cosmonauts on the Moon. But Roscosmos has yet to complete half of its tasks for 2020, so Putin has ordered a significant revision of its space strategy. So where's the competition flying off to? Meanwhile, Russia's competitors are preparing to conquer the Moon and Mars. In two years, the Americans will send the Viper lunar rover to Earth's satellite in search of water. In 2023, NASA plans to build the Gateway space station in lunar orbit, from where astronauts will land on the Moon a year later. Construction of a habitable moon base is scheduled for 2028. 
The Perseverance rover and first ever mini helicopter have just blasted off for Mars. NASA plans to land astronauts on Mars in the 2030s. But Elon Musk has already promised to send astronauts to Mars in 2024 on the Starship spacecraft. The businessman is currently working on another revolutionary project, the Starlink Internet satellite constellation that will be available even out at sea or in a desert. Beijing also has ambitious plans for space. In 2018, a Chinese rover landed on the dark side of the moon. And China is sending a rover to the red planet this year. Beijing intends to create its own orbital station in two years. And in 10 years, an automated base at the moon's south pole. Then send astronauts to it by 2036. For the lunar flights, Beijing is building a new generation reusable spacecraft. Why is Russia lagging behind? Russian space industry workers' salaries are 10 times lower than their American counterparts. A repairman at Energia Corporation earns 38,000 Russian rubles, or $530. There, an engineer's salary is $740 a month, while engineers at Boeing earn around $8,500. No one wants to design or assemble high-quality spacecraft on low salaries. In 2018, there was an oxygen leak on the ISS due to a hole in a Soyuz spacecraft. As it turned out, it had been drilled accidentally by a worker on Earth. The industry is losing its scientists and experienced workers. Consequently, the number of accidents is on the rise. In the past 10 years, 1 in 15 Russian rocket launches have been plagued by failure. In the United States, 1 in 42 launches ended in an accident, and 1 in 24 in China. Lack of funding is not the only reason for the brain drain and deteriorating production. In the space race, China has overtaken Russia with a comparable budget. Shooting off into space is being held back by sub standard management and corruption. In 2015, after not being paid for four months, the builders of the Vastochny Cosmodrome went on hunger strike. The prosecutor's office uncovered embezzlement worth $150 million and filed 140 criminal charges. Another reason for Russia's space problems is the Western sanctions imposed in response to the annexation of Crimea and the war in Donbass. Roscosmos can no longer buy essential parts abroad. Learning to make your own takes time and skill, but the Russian space industry is in short supply of both. What's the bottom line? Disregard for specialists, corruption and low management standards are the main reasons why Russia has lost its formerly strong position in space. Until the end of the noughties, the space industry relied on potential accumulated in the Soviet years. But over time, the professionals educated during the Soviet era left and no new ones took their place. Beijing's race into space would have been impossible without Chinese electronics manufacturers. The US space industry is being developed by private companies hired by NASA. In Russia, there is little hope from the private sector. Since private property is insecure there, it is unattractive and dangerous for high-tech businesses. The chances of a Russian Elon Musk ever emerging are extremely slim. If I've managed to explain why Russia is lagging behind the United States and China in the space race, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. My name is Alexander Popko. All the best and see you soon.